Hi, Serena. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. Um, it is uh, an honor to be speaking with you, and uh, I'm looking forward to your trip to space. Are you looking forward uh, to going to space for the first time? Hi, good morning. Yeah, absolutely good to be with you. And yes, very much looking forward to it. Uh, our crew just finished our final exams uh, just a few days ago on both the Russian segment of the ISS and then also the Soyuz spacecraft. And right now we're in our rest week where we spend time with our families prior to departing to Baikonur in preparations for a June 6 launch. Great. Um, so you were originally scheduled to go to space a bit later with Expedition 58 and 59, and then you were switched to Expedition 56 and 57 uh, just a few months ago. So how has that kind of affected your training or your plans for, for uh, going to space? It was a really smooth transition, uh, mostly because the crew that I moved to um, and that change, you know, occurred a little earlier this year. Uh, I knew very well. I've known Alex Gers for a very long time. He was selected uh, into ESA at the same year that I was. And Sergei Prokopiev, our Russian uh, commander on board the Soyuz, uh, I've also known him for a while because I had been training in Star City and, and we're kind of like one big family out here. So those guys made it uh, very, very easy to slide right into that crew. And, you know, schedules were a little bit packed at first, but everything ended up working out beautifully, uh, both the training on the U.S. side and the Russian side. And we are definitely ready to head down to Baikonur. Great. And have you done any kind of special training for the arrival of commercial crew vehicles sometime in the future? We do a lot of special training for that, and most of that involves our uh, robotics training um, because the commercial crew vehicles don't come up and, and, in a sense, park themselves on the space station. They go up and, and, in a sense, hover a certain distance from the space station, and we take the robot arm out and we grab that commercial crew vehicle and bring it in. And so it's some of the most challenging training that we do. It's very rewarding. We all love it. And since we have so many commercial crew vehicles coming up there to visit us during our stay, we're really excited because that means it's going to be a really busy six months. And do you have plans to do any spacewalks while you're up there? Uh, we don't know yet. It depends on uh, what spacewalks will eventually be scheduled. And our, our mission management teams at Houston are always taking a look and planning those ahead. So we'll find out at some point, but probably while we're on orbit. Great. And um, so what are you most looking forward to, both in terms of just being in space and experiencing microgravity, but also in terms of the science that you'll be doing while you're on board. Yeah, so certainly at first I'm looking forward to see how my own body reacts in the microgravity environment because you hear a bunch of stories, but everybody's different. And, you know, also just really looking out the window the first time and, and taking a glance at our Earth, at our planet. Um, the great thing is also a lot of the experiments going on on board the space station, since I am a physician, do relate to human science and possible medical benefits on Earth. You know, we're looking at everything from internal bone structure, um, which can impact our astronauts, but also people with osteoporosis, uh, to even the structure of amyloid, which is a protein, that a plaque that can form in people with Alzheimer's disease and, you know, that, are, that many people on this planet are stricken with. And so I'm really excited to conduct some of these experiments on board the space station because I know that it will help benefit our medical science on Earth. Wonderful, well thank you so much for your time, Serena. I really appreciate it and uh, have a safe trip for your first trip to space. Absolutely, thank you so much.